This is a kilobator, a large dromaeosaurid from the late Cretaceous period. Discovered in Mongolia, a kilobator is up to 16 feet long and one of the largest raptors of its size. Now this was a surprise. We just got hots about a month ago. So this coming out, an official dinosaur for Path of Titans. I'm super surprised. Let's get into it. First up, we have our subspecies here. This is Giganticus. It is 20% bleed. Next is Calvis. It has very short feathers, does not have that tuft on the back of its head, and has plus 50% acceleration. Barbatus has plus 10% health regeneration, which is the first we have of any of the dinosaurs for this. It has a bit of a bigger back and chest. The legs are a little bit thicker, and so is the head. And then back to Giganticus. Let's check out the female skin right quick. Oh, it's still pretty nice. It has a lot of color in it. It's just paler, a lot more pastel. Let's go through the calls right quick. First, we have our broadcast. That is long, but I like it a lot. It's a lot more unique than most of the other raptor sounds that we have in the game. To call. Ooh, a little shake, a little shimmy there. Threaten. I love how it uses all the feathers on its body, the tail, the ones up in its arms, and the ones up here, the little tuft on its head. Work call. Hmm, cute. I wish it had a little bit more wiggle to the head. Talk. Mm-hmm. Very vocal. Look around. pretty curious and then our invite is going to be the same as our two call all right here's our baby model his eyes are huge by the way but i love it it looks absolutely cute super adorable and kind of chunky too let's go through the calls right quick here's our broadcast that is unmistakable for any other dinosaur in the game right now two call Ooh, shimmy. Sounds pretty similar to the adult one. Threaten. He is not having it. That's a lot of attitude. War call. It looks better on the baby. I don't know why, but it does. The four call. Talk. I like it. Look around. Those eyes, man. I'm never going to get over it. They're just so huge. And our invite is the same as the two call. Let's go through some animations right quick. Here's our walk. That was basically a run to begin with. Very sneaky looking. There's some like malicious intent here. And this is just the walk. Run. Much faster. All right, let's get a jump. I like that. The feet come out first when you're jumping and you're landing. A sit. Kind of broody. Sits on the back legs, doesn't lay down on the chest. Sleep. A little wiggle. Oh my gosh. He just puts his head down and covers his eyes like he's playing peekaboo. Get up. Reverse shimmy. Okay. All right, here's our adult model. This one is actually huge compared to the baby. It looks great though in this environment. It fits right in, doesn't stand out too much. Personally, for looks, I like this kind of the best out of all the raptors we have so far. Uh, let's go through our animations. First, we have walk. Very simple, very standard for big raptors. Is our run. Oh, it's pretty slow. It's not that fast compared to like the walk. There's not much to it. And this is the base um, elevator. Here's our jump. It's not that high either. I don't think you'll be dodging any, you know, pick no charges or anything like that. Crouch. Crouch walk. Very sneaky. I do like this a lot. Then we're going to have our sit. Pretty standard, pretty much the same. Sleep. Peekaboo. <laughs> Let's get back up. 
There you go. And then we're going to do our precise movement here. He puts his arms out to balance. That's cute. And our back. Left. Right. You are not catching this raptor off guard in any way, shape, or form. I like it a lot, though. This is our disturbed Boro animation. I like it. It's kind of aggressive. Then here's our eat animation. Ooh, I like that a lot. It's very precise. Here's our drink animation. Pretty standard. Just a little sip, no look around or anything. And here's our swim animation. He uses all his limbs, even those feathers to his advantage. It's pretty slow. All right, let's go through these skins right quick. This is the female default skin. Then we have the backer skin here. Eagle, Flicker, Roadrunner, Mast, Chard, Trogon, Luzon, Vulture, Albino, and Melanistic. I really like this one right here, the Flicker. I think see, these are some of the better skins out of most of the dinosaurs so far. So let's check the abilities right quick for our head slot. We only have one and we have Bite, which causes medium damage. We have Raptor Strikes, a quick attack that increases in power with each hit. Considering how big a Kilobator is, Raptor Strikes is going to be really powerful because it's going to have the health to kind of go with the attack power. Uh, Shred, a powerful attack can only be used while pounced on an enemy. So pounce confirmed for a Kilobator, even though he's huge. Senses, we have Lone Hunter, gain 10% increased attack damage when not in a group. Mob boss, interesting, increases the damage of all small raptors in your group by 3% when near you. Stacks up to seven times for each small raptor in your group. Disabled if there's more than one Aquilo in the group. Okay, so this is if you want to pack up with like Latin Aventatrix and uh, Dana Nikas. Then we have Hunter's Instinct, increases land movement speed by 5% when not in combat. That's okay, not great, but it works. Then for front limb, we have claw attack causes medium damage and deals additional damage if you used when pounced on an enemy. Mm, so pounce is gonna be really big for a kilobator. Cruel swipe, a claw attack that deals more damage to heavier targets or heavier enemies. So basically the bigger your enemy is, the more damage you're gonna do. It doesn't go through armor though. So I don't know how useful that'll be. Metabolism, we have hyper carnivore, only able to eat meat, food drains much slower. And then we have scavenger, eat meat, fish, carrion and bones fast food and water drain. Then for hide, we have survival of the fittest. Increases speed by 10% while bleeding in venom. Does not attack, does not activate when in a group. Okay, so they really want you to kind of be solo with a kilometer. There's a lot of abilities to support solo gameplay here. So you're definitely gonna see some videos of that. But we're also getting a lot of new abilities just in general with a kilobator. So this might be a part of the new changes that they're trying to do for this year. Hollow bones reduces jumping stamina cost by 50%. Strength in numbers increases your armor by 2% for each nearby small raptor in your group. Interesting, very, very interesting. Legs, we have two slots for our legs. We have ripping kick like concavenator, lunges forward, dealing medium bleed damage. We have pounce like Latin Aventrix and Danonychus. Latch onto another creature, allowing you to perform attacks and other abilities. Release from latch by jumping will automatically release when out of stamina. Only works on heavy targets. That's a little bit different than our smaller friends. Uh, we'll definitely have to see how that plays out. The leader of the pack increases your speed by 5% while grouped with small raptors who gain a 25% increased jump height when nearby. Disabled if there's more than one Aquilo in the group. I really do not want you packing up with other Aquilos, probably because you're freaking strong. Tail attack, we have Rudder, which improves jump control, reduces fall damage, and reduces jump stamina, cost by 50%. And then we have counterbalance, use 15% less stamina when running. Then our voice abilities, we have war cry, 10% increased armor, and stamina recovery of other small raptors in your group for 30 seconds. And then we have panicking sprint, replenishes 25 stamina and reduces the attack damage of all nearby creatures by 20% for 30 seconds. That's pretty good for getting away. Bark increases the attack of all raptors in your group by 8% within 30 meters for 20 seconds able to stack up to 10 times this i feel like is only going to be good if you actually give the raptors a debuff because they currently dominate in my opinion in the meta currently now here's our ability animations first we have bite it's a big long bite and it actually has quite a bit of a cooldown then we have claw swipe 
You can use both hands. Another minute cooldown to use it. Now we have cruel swipe. Both hands at the same time. Another long cooldown. Yeah, that took a hot minute. Next we have ripping kick. Yeah, pretty much similar to Concavenator, except obviously we have a different dinosaur here who's a little bit bigger. Then we have Pounce. That's basically the same as Latin of Venetrix and Dana Nikus. And for our voice, we have Warcry. Whoa! Straight belly dancing. That is so obvious, though. People will know exactly what you're doing. Now we have Panicking Sprint. I love the emotes for a Killivator. It's just so good. They have so much drama. They're very dramatic. And then lastly, we have Bark, which is nice and quick. Thank goodness. All right, that's about it for a Killivator here. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. If you like this video, I have lots more videos covering all different kinds of creatures, official and modded. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.